So Anki without add-ons is like food without salt. It's bland. So today I'm going to tell you my five favorite add-ons which I use with Anki. Hey there, I'm Subha Brahmani, the guy who's mad about medicine just like you. If you're new here then make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below and also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing medical content, some interesting quizzes and exciting challenges and giveaways. You can find the links to all of this and everything else mentioned in this video down in the description box below. So let's go. So without further ado let's just go with it. Today I'll be telling you my five favorite add-ons which I use almost daily and it enhances the experience of using Anki by by a lot. Just like I said, it's like adding the salt to your food. Without the salt, the food will be bland and without these add-ons, Anki is boring. So let me just get straight to it and the first add-on we have here is the hierarchical tags add-on. So here on my screen you can see my Anki and what is the hierarchical tags add-on. Now you see when we go to this browse option on the left we have these tags and it's all categorized. It it's all categorized automatically. I mean the tags are within these cards but how is it categorized here? For this you need the hierarchical tags add-on. So for example I am studying Pathoma and I want to find a card so I can just click here on Anking step 1 card find Pathoma and then I can find the chapter which I'm studying and then I can unlock the cards from there so this is I think the most useful add-on if you're using pre-made decks especially and even if you're making your own cards I would recommend you to tag those cards and make it organized and find it easily whenever you need to so for that you will need this uh, you'll need this hierarchical tags add-on and it will make your life so much easier for example i have made my own tech uh, and i've tagged these cards accordingly like penetrating trauma deck and you can find the tags which are corresponding to the mid axillary line and the left and the right so it's all categorized and uh, this just makes everything well organized and life much easier now the second add-on we have here is the image occlusion add-on. So I already have a video on the image occlusion add-on but let me just show you quickly how does it work. So if you click on this add button and you want to have a card, you will, you will find the icon like this which is for the image occlusion add-on. So just click here and you can find the image you want to um, occlude on. So I have this image here, just bear with me, this is just the thumbnail of my video and for example I want to occlude something so I can just do this and here and I can make two cards from this and so you can see it says two cards added and when I go back it has added two these cards and when I click study now and I can see okay so what was here uh, okay 10 study habits so yeah here you can make easy cards especially useful for diagrams and also for your notes as I explained you in that video so if you haven't seen that video yet I'll link it down here and also somewhere here and you will find these uh, this add-on particularly useful if you're making your own cards and if you are a visual learner so the third add-on we have here is called the batch edit add-on so what does it help you do so for example you go to the browse section and for example you can just go to any set of cards so let's say i go to anking step one deck and pathoma deck and let's say inflammation now it has 486 cards so let's say i want to edit these 486 cards together now you can find many uses of doing that for example you have let's say 10 cards which are also related to your university material and you want to add a picture of your university slide there so instead of going and adding picture one by one to all these 10 cards you can just you know uh, do it all together so how do you do it so let's say just just select any set of cards let's say here we have 48 cards just select all of them 
and go to the edit option uh, on top on edit option you'll find this option batch edit if you have the batch edit add-on uh, installed on your Anki now here you can add anything it's literally anything and you can just put it anywhere else in any of the fields you have in your card for example let me put it in additional resources and you can click the add after or add before or replace button so the add after button what will it do it will add this information after the information which is already there in that field the add before button will add the information before what is already there in that field and replace will replace that information with this so you can add it anywhere and it's super easy to batch edit all these cards in one go without going to you know uh, edit them separately so this is a super useful add-on if you want to add your own notes or any extra information to already pre-made decks now the fourth add-on we have here is the heat map add-on so here you can see this heat map add-on and it is basically a heat map of how many cards you do every day and it down there it shows you very conveniently your longest streak or how long have you been doing Anki how many days have you done Anki and uh, everything and this is one thing which keeps you motivated and not lose track so it has also many settings so here you can see uh, you can change the color scheme to let's say I have eyes I can change it to flame and you'll see it changes and now it displays like this so it's a very convenient add-on to track how many cards you did on which day so for example the dark here is the ones like I did less cards compared to my daily average so when you see you can find a very light one here let's say this one so I did 550 cards on this day which is not my usual like this was a lot so that's why it's very light so it just tells you uh, how many cards you do each day and you can see lately I have some dark ones because I'm not doing many cards but yeah so this is one which keeps you motivated and I think without this I wouldn't keep my streak going so this is probably one of my favorite add-ons and I would recommend you to have this as soon as possible so the fifth and last add-on is the frozen fields add-on so how does this work let me show you imagine if you're making a card let's say uh, and you make a card and and you want to add some notes here so now you made this card and you want this to carry forward to the next card you make so you'll have these frozen fields here if you have this add-on and when this when you click this it will keep this field frozen for example when you make this card when you add this it will still have the information for the next card already ready in the field so let me write something here and you will see these two fields are frozen and this is not so when I add the when I add the card it says one card added and it now already has these two fields ready for me so I can just you know make this card quickly so instead of this I can put this so like to the channel it doesn't make sense but yeah you get the point that uh, how useful this add-on is and especially when you're making your own cards it will save you so much time and you won't have to type the same information again and again because the cards are related instead of that you can use the frozen field add-on and just make some adjustments in the card and also if you have the same extra information or same information below the card for let's say 10 to 15 cards which you're gonna make just write that information and keep it frozen and keep making the cards and you won't have to type that information again and again so these were my five favorite add-ons which I use almost daily and they keep me motivated and make my life easier with Anki. As I said, it's just like adding salt to the food and without it, it's very bland. So I hope you find this video helpful and you can find all the links to all these add-ons in the description box below. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down. And if you gained anything from this video, then don't forget to give it a like. And if you absolutely loved it, just smash that subscribe button. 
and as always stay healthy stay safe and stay mad but just about medicine